Hi, this is Maria Telsanek, founder of Immigration Biz, and in this video I would like to talk about how to look for the right attorney and how to make sure that you are working with expert, expert in immigration field, if you are applying for your investor visa or work visa or green card, EB5, EB2, EB3, how to work with a real true professional. So, in other words, how to prevent a fraud. And also I want to mention if you are applying for green card lottery, there are so many different websites that are actually fraudulent. So I'm going to state below this video the correct website because one of my friends asked me recently what is the website for this DV lottery, diversity visa lottery. So I'm going to post the link below this video and also be aware of the fact that you can apply for this green card lottery. I believe it's in October each year. So even if you want to apply now, it's impossible. You have to wait and then you can apply either in October or November if I'm, if I'm not wrong. So what to do, what steps to take if you are looking to hire professional attorney, immigration expert, if you want to, if you're seeking help with your papers, immigration papers, application, and how to prevent a fraud. So number one thing you need to do is to make sure that attorney is licensed. And in the US, each state, if you want to practice, for example, in New York, you have to be licensed in New York. Um, so each state um, has a bar, a bar association and you need to make sure that your attorney is licensed in the US. So if your attorney is licensed in different jurisdiction outside of the US, he is not he is not really qualified to give you legal immigration advice. So make sure that you ask for this uh, for this um, credibility check. Also, immigration law is federal law. So your attorney can be uh, licensed in any state because. Uh, practicing immigration law is uh, basically federal law. So if you're working with someone from California, it's fine. If you're working with someone from New York, it's also fine. It doesn't really matter as long as the state is within the US jurisdiction. Number two thing, I would say ask for references. It's very important if you are working with immigration attorney uh, to ask for references because Immigration law is such a broad um, category of law that, for example, my focus is on uh, business immigration law and majority of my clients are uh, entrepreneurs, foreign entrepreneurs, foreign companies expanding to the US market and most of my time I'm working with these people so my focus is on investment issues and E2 visa, E1 visa, EB5 green card, L visa, L1A, L1B, H1B. These are the main categories that I'm dealing with. Sometimes it's EB2, EB3, EB5 green card. Now you have different areas of law within the immigration and or in other words specialty law and therefore for example you can have immigration attorneys but they are specializing in different immigration not business immigration. For example deportation, asylum, these are different areas within the immigration law and all of these areas are very complex. So make sure that your attorney is specialized in business immigration law. And that's very important because it seems like it's, it's the same area, but it's not. And you can have different investment questions. You can have a different issues and the more, um, the more specialized your immigration attorney is, the better the better for the results you are looking for. You need visa approval or green card approval. So make sure that you are really working with professional. And if you have any questions, you can ask me, just ask me below this video, or you can shoot us an email at office at immigrationbiz.com. And for those who are looking for ways to do your visa on your own, you can check free ebook that we put together how to get E2 investor visa and you can download this ebook at immigrationbiz.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.